Hi everyone, it is Miss Howes. I'm back with your Wednesday read aloud and it's been a few weeks since I have done a Mo Willems book so I thought I would do this. It is called Waiting is Not Easy. Okay, and it's an elephant and piggy book and I see Gerald on the front cover and if I had to guess how he was feeling, I would say he's maybe anxious or annoyed or tired or I don't know. What do you guys think? How do you think he's feeling just from looking at the front cover? So remember, we talked about how sometimes we can guess how characters are feeling by how their bodies look. Maybe not even characters, people too. If someone is slunched over like this and they're scrunching their eyes together and they're mad looking, that's something that you can tell. Or they're sitting up and they're happy and they're smiling and their eyes are big. That's something different. So I would say maybe something happens that makes him feel a little bit annoyed or angry. Hmm. So this book is Waiting is Not Easy. He's kind of making that same face there. Waiting is not easy. Piggy doesn't look as angry as Gerald looks, though, does she? Gerald! I have a surprise for you. Yay! What is it? The surprise is a surprise. Oh. Is it big? Yes. Is it pretty? Yes. Can we share it? Yes. Hmm. Big, pretty, and you can share it. Make a prediction. What do you think it could be? I cannot wait. You will have to. Wait. What? Why? The surprise is not here yet. So I will have to wait for it? Yes. Mm. Do you think that he does not want to have to wait for it? Groan. Can you guys give me a big groan at home? Oh well. If I have to wait, I will wait. I am waiting. Waiting is not easy. Piggy, I want to see your surprise now. I am sorry, Gerald, but we must wait. Hmm. Groan. Everyone give me another big, bigger groan at home. Good job. And now give me an oof from Piggy. Oof. I am done waiting. I do not think your surprise is worth all this waiting. It's getting angry. I will not wait anymore. How do you think it's making Piggy feel? She looks a little sad to me. Okay. I will wait some more. It will be worth it. Biggest groan yet. Yeah, everyone help Miss House groan. Ready? <sighs> groan. We're going to go oof. Oh, this time he's saying eek. Is he getting squished by it? Piggy. We have waited too long. It is getting dark. It is getting darker. 
Soon we will not be able to see each other. Soon we will not be able to see anything. We have wasted the whole day. Well, um, we have waited and waited and waited and waited. And for what? For that. What do you think? Make your prediction. Okay, so I'm going to close the book for here right now. So they waited all day. It was big. It was pretty. They could share it. But they had to wait all day long until it started to get darker and darker. What do you think comes out at night when it gets darker and darker? What can you see at night when it gets dark? It's pretty. It's big. You can share it with everyone. Do you guys have a prediction? This was worth the wait. I know. Tomorrow morning, I want to show you the sunrise. I cannot wait. Look who made it. There's Pigeon. He's saying, wow. I love that book. So waiting is not easy. I agree. Waiting is not easy, especially when you know that there's someone that wants to surprise you and they're giving you all these clues. You really just want to know what it is then. You don't want to have to wait. Waiting is not easy for sure. Um, okay, so we made a prediction throughout the book, right? We made a guess of what we thought the surprise was okay so we use the clues from the book to make that guess or prediction but now what I want to talk to you guys about is something called character traits okay so character traits we kind of talk about them when we do positivity project they're words that we can use to describe a certain character okay so there was two characters in this book we had elephant Gerald and we had piggy okay so these two characters kind of change throughout the book. So I would describe them in different ways at the beginning of the book than I would necessarily in the middle of the book and even at the end of the book, okay? So characters can change throughout the story. Their character traits might change throughout the story as well, okay? so. I want to know, what are some words that you would use to describe Gerald in this story, okay? I would say at the beginning, I would say he's excited. He's happy. I can guess those things just from looking at him and using the cues that his body is giving us, but I can also use the words, right? He's asking, is it pretty? Piggy says, yes. Okay. I would also say a word to describe Piggy is that he's excited, right? He's excited. I would use other words to describe Gerald towards the middle of the book. I would say he's starting, he's confused. I would say he's probably anxious. He's not being very patient. He's not a good waiter, right? I would say he's maybe annoyed or frustrated. That might be a good word. So you can go back and think of all these. This one, I would say he's sad, he's angry, he's tired, he's tired from waiting, okay? So character traits are words that we can use to describe characters. So the two characters that I would like you to talk about and to describe with your adult at home or whoever is working with you um, are Elephant and Piggy. I want you to describe how they are in this book. So the book Waiting is Not Easy is a Mo Willems book. 
We see these two characters in lots and lots and lots of Mo Willems books, and sometimes they act different in these books. Sometimes um, Piggy is the one that gets angry. Sometimes Gerald is the one that tries to surprise Piggy. So they're very different. So in this book, I want you to come up with some words that you would use to describe Gerald and some words that you would use to describe Piggy, okay? These are all about character traits. And when we know character traits and when we think about them, it can kind of help us understand the story and the characters. And this is a skill that you guys, I know from um, students in older grades, they always talk about character traits, okay? It's a big thing that they'll have to talk about and learn about when they start reading bigger books on their own or listening to bigger books, okay? So that is going to be it for reading today. So we did a little mini character traits lesson and we made a prediction or a guess Hopefully some of you were right if you used the clues. Hopefully you guys guessed that um, it was the night sky or the stars, okay? All right, I'm going to continue on. We have for writing today's Would You Rather Wednesday, and I have a food question for Would You Rather Wednesday today. You're picking between two foods, okay? So I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you um, in that video for Would You Rather Wednesday. Okay, bye guys.